show you a used car deal. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do we mean by that? Yeah, what do we mean by that? I'm hearing stereo echo. Oh, anyway, I mean, the world today is going to the dogs. And the reason is you can't get any service, right, gang? Yeah. Right. Well, I've talked to stacks of librarians, scores of composers, and a clutch of mechanics. And it's always the same. Too much work, too little money, no time for me. Why, my exterminator is always down with a bug. My chiropractor gives me nothing but back talk. <laughs> my electrician is shocked if I call him and my plumber won't pipe down. <laughs> Even my clock stopped running because it doesn't have the time. <laughs> and things are getting worse. And so is this monologue. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just read where the people that work at the U.S. Mint are threatening to go on strike unless they get higher wages and work fewer hours. Now, do you know what that means? <laughs> they want to get more money to make less money. <laughs> so I say we got to start helping each other in this world because if you help a friend, he will always think of you first, especially when he needs help again. <laughs> so you do that, and I love you, and give me a kiss. I'll give you a big kiss anyway. Okay. Didn't you try and tell my fortune with a bowling ball? <laughs> to see what the old library says. Oh, it's about He-Man, the book for men who laugh at danger. Hey, that sounds pretty awful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to wake you up, Harry. <laughs> I'm mean, going to knock my brains out. He's taking a nap. <laughs> danger. I had a rendezvous with death but didn't show up. <laughs> well, here's a great chapter. I talk back to my wife, or it only hurts when I dust. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at it. I put out a roaring fire with my bare hands. Fortunately, my bare hands were wrapped around a fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh, listen to this. 45 days in the Sahara without water. The story of a room service waiter locked in a Las Vegas hotel broom closet. <laughs> Here's a bonus chapter title. I laughed in the boogeyman's face by Mrs. Horace Boogie as told to her divorce lawyer. <laughs> oh, enough of the funny stuff.